three. I'm Ed. I am here with the dev team from Intelligent Systems for something that was just unveiled last night. We're going to take a look at Codename Steam. Uh, they talked about it at the roundtable uh, last night, so this is the first time that we're able to give you a, a deep look at this game. I'm really excited about that. Uh, Dave here is going to help out with translation. He's from Treehouse. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and take it away. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hitoshi Yamagami. I'm a producer at Nintendo. Today, I'd like to take a moment and introduce you all to a new game from uh, being developed by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. And to help me introduce the game to you all, uh, I have two developers from Intelligent Systems to help me out. Hi, my name is Paul Petrashko and I'm the creative director of Codename Steam. Hello everyone, my name is Takako Sakai. I am the art director of creative, uh, the art director for Codename Steam. Codename Steam is a turn-based simulation so, Codename Steam is an entirely new offering from Nintendo. It has a turn-based strategy game, but we've added a lot of elements from action games and shooters. Players are going to take command of an elite fighting force called Steam which has been formed by Abraham Lincoln to defend the Earth against a mysterious alien invasion. So I'd like uh, Sakai-san to go ahead and tell us a little bit about the design. Uh, for the art style, we've take, used a combination of steampunk elements as well as American comic books. These are all elements that we all uh, have a lot of love for, so we're really happy to make all of them and fuse them into this global, world-spanning adventure. So maybe we can get a few comments from Paul as well about the design. So I think you may all be wondering how we got the idea to put like these very disparate elements together, American comic books, steampunk, turn-based strategy, action. Uh, you may think that they all don't really go well, uh, well together, but we think we've made something that ha makes that happen. So now, uh, as we explain, I think we'd just like you to go ahead and take a look at the game and we'll talk over it and see what we can do. Sakai-san, please.
London, a modern utopia. Thanks to exciting advances in steam technology. Even now, steam vehicles crowd London's fair streets beyond capacity, which is why we are all looking forward to today's event. The grand opening of the Steamgate Bridge, crossing the mighty River Thames. This mechanical marvel can open and close before you can say, Rule Britannia! The new drawbridge offers drivers swift passage over the Thames. Our live broadcast of the opening ceremony begins in just minutes. Stay tuned! The troops are in position, Captain. Roger that. It's almost time. Tell everyone to keep on their toes. Has the Queen arrived? Not yet. They'll let us know when she leaves, over the wireless. The wireless? Still not used to this thing. Strange times, huh? What? So we would like to go ahead and get start up the game itself. There we go. Hi. これは皆さんに説明をしやすくするために少し先の面を見せています。So, uh, so we can get into the explanation a little bit quicker. We started here at an advanced level within the game. はい。まずあのターン制ということで自分のターンが始まります。So, because it's a turn-based turn strategy, we started on the player's turn. And we see an alien uh, enemy right up there on the bridge. Oh, and Sakai-san's already attacking it. So, take a look down at the, the, lower, uh, the lower part of the screen in the middle there. You'll see a steam gauge. So the steam in your tank, there, or in your gauge, represents the steam in your tank and also allows you to move around and perform actions. You can move around within the, the limits of your steam tank all around uh, within the area, but you can also see a frame there on the bottom of the steam gauge. This represents how much steam it's going to take to attack. Now, Sakai-san has four characters in her team right here, and she can go ahead and select via the, the stylus which character she wants to use. So, uh, by switching back and forth between the different viewpoints of the characters, the player is able to get a sense of what's on the battlefield, what's going on, what the terrain looks like, and uh, start strategizing from that point. I think you've already noticed that this is very different from a normal strategy game where you have a top-down view of your units. Instead, 
Codename Steam has the camera done right with the battlefield and the units. So, 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 自分のキャラクターを高いところに、えー、持っていくなどの工夫をすることによって、えー、自分の状況を、えー、判断することができるわけです。This is、uh, one of the, the cool things about Codename Steam is that verticality becomes very important. You gotta get up in high places so that you can gather intel on what the battlefield is like, what's going on, what enemies you might be facing, all that information. まあ、状況の判断ができれば次に、えー、周囲を探索するために移動するのですが、えー、このゲームにおいては、えー自分の持っている、えー、スチームの量の範囲であれば自由に、えー、全ての範囲内を自由に動き回ることができます。So I think that,、uh, that importance on elevation speaks to the point about exploration on the battlefield. You really need to look around, explore, to find out what's going on and, and help you strategize. さかいさん、ジョンで少し動き回ってくれるかな And so,、uh, to continue. In your steam tank, as you move around, you're going to be, you see the steam tank is re reduced, but you are able to still move back and forth between your starting point and the limit of your steam tank freely. This allows you to, again, continue exploring to find out new information about the battlefield. このように自分の自由に動けるエリアであれば、スチームを消費せずに探索することができるので、えー、探索自体は非常にやりやすくなっています。And this makes the whole game,、uh, you know, Exploration within the game very easy to do. You're able to go ahead and look around, use your Steam, move around the battlefield, and find all the information you need. でも、えー、自由に移動していると、思いがけず隠れている敵に見つかって攻撃をされることもあります。However, it wouldn't be a strategy game without trade offs.、Uh, as you're moving around, if you were discovered by an enemy, you could come under attack, and at that point, your Steam is locked in. The, the move is basically、uh, used up, that Steam. まあ、敵に攻撃されるとそこで移動が確定するためにその先そこでスイムが消費をされてしまうので、えー、移動その先移動できるように、えー、限りが生じるわけですね。So that becomes the limit of your move. Your, your steam to that point is used up once you receive an attack from an enemy. So there's risk to all. つまり、まあ、自由には動けるんだけども周囲の状況をよく確認して慎重に移動しなければなりません。So you have to be very serious and plan out your moves because you never know when you're going to get caught out. ちょうど今、酒井さんが敵のターンを今遊んでいます。Right now we're, we're looking around during the enemy's turn. はい。あ、ちょうどまた元に戻ります、ね。あ、uh,、and now it's the player's turn. はい。酒井さんに少しまた次違うプレイをやってもらいましょうか。これ、はい。降りてみます。<笑> so we're having her jump down from her pedestal now. 攻撃をしてみてください。And maybe、uh, we're going to show some attacks. まあ、攻撃の特徴とか話してみたい。攻撃の特徴ですか。So we're gonna have Paul speak a little bit about what he wants to say about the attacks. まあえっとそれぞれのユニットがいるんですけれども、まずユニットの一番大きな特徴はそのメインの武器です。So there are all kinds of units you're gonna be able to use in this game. And the first special characteristic I want to point out is the main weapons that each unit has. えっとこれらのメイン武器はキャラクターの間にシェアするとかまあその切り替えることはできないんですけれども。These main weapons all have special characteristics, but you can't change them between characters. There, each main weapon can only be used by its special character. えっとこれらの武器がもともとできないこととかたくさんあるので。えー、そういうところをカバーするために、えー、サブウェポンっていうもう一つの武器を装備することができます。But、uh, since you can't change weapon, these main weapons between characters, we do have a set of sub weapons、uh, that'll help you out that you can choose to equip on each character as you see fit. で、例えばまあ今その坂井さんがあの今スイッチしてるんですけれども、このヘンリーのサブウェポンが、えー、まあジャンプできるんですね。だから高いところに行けるっていうこと。For example, and these aren't all exactly weapons. Some of them have different capabilities or add to the character.、Uh, right now, Henry has equipped a jump booster, which isn't a, not exactly a weapon, but it allows him to jump over and onto higher places. ちょっとなんかヘンリーの左の方になんかちょっとその岩があるんですけど、そこをその上に飛べるかな。
So we're gonna move Henry around and see if he can't jump up to a higher elevation. But ちょっと惜しい。え、レックスは少し遠くに行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、この辺に行くと、By equipping a jump booster, he's able to jump over that fence and then make it into a, an, an area that would be unavailable to someone who didn't have a jump ability and find new routes around through the map. Now, I really kind of like、uh, John's sub weapon here. sentry gun to the machine, and it's a This, this little fella is called a sentry, and it's basically yeah, an automatic machine gun that's going to be able to attack enemies on its own. So it's almost as if by deploying this on the field, you're going to have an extra team member there helping you out. Ah, but、uh, it's kind of special in that the sentry gun only attacks on enemies' turns. そこでちょっと山上さんが言いたいことがあるかもしれません。おおっちのこと。I think Mr. Yamagami might have something to say about that. あのこのゲームにも、えー、戦略単性の戦略ゲームに、えー、最近よく取り入れられているオーバーウォッチ攻撃があります。So maybe some of you have heard already, but in Codename Steam we have、uh, Overwatch ability, which, as you know, has appeared in several different strategy games over the, the recent years. 実は私はこのオーバーウォッチが大好きなんです。And I really love the whole Overwatch concept. So, Overwatch in our game works like this. If you save up some steam, you know, in other words, you don't use up all your steam on your turn to move and attack, but save up steam so that on the enemy's turn you have enough to attack. When,、oh, when an enemy、uh, comes into range, you're able to attack on their turn and、uh, get some special things happen. ちょうど今、酒井さんがやってくださってて<笑>、僕が説明に夢中になっちゃって<笑>、ターンが終わっちゃったんですけども。Yeah, sorry guys.、Uh, so, 酒井さんは、nice、enough to start up an Overwatch attack, but in the time it took me to interpret, it's kind of ended. けど、ちょっとあのこのゲームの特徴がちょっと見えましたね。あの but we, we were able to see, I don't know if you were watching closely, but we were able to see one of the special char- characteristics of our Overwatch attack in Codename Steam. このオーバーウォッチには実はいくつか特徴があるんですね。で、まあその特徴を少しパウロに話してもらおうと思います。Mm-hmm. Actually, there are several different、uh, kinds of characteristics that are unique to Codename Steam about Overwatch.、Uh, Paul, maybe you could atta-、uh, talk a little bit about those. まあ先ほど山上さんからあったように、えっ、ー、とスチームが回復するんですね。移動したら。Mm-hmm. So, as you guys heard. Steam is an important concept. What it is is it allows you to move around the map to the limits of your steam tank. So, this actually allows because you can move around, come back, and explore without using up your steam. This is a pretty advantageous concept for the player. So, this is a pretty advantageous concept for the player. So, this is a pretty advantageous concept for the player. So, this is a pretty advantageous concept for the player. And, and so I thought when I was designing the game, in order to balance、uh, the advantage the player has in exploration, I should do something with the Overwatch capability to、uh, you know, make it a little more, more difficult for the player. The main things, excuse me, one of the main things about、uh, Overwatch is that. It has the ability to stun enemies, and this ability is based on each weapon. Each weapon has a different kind of po-、uh, probability of stunning an enemy that comes into its range. So,、uh, you might find yourself in a situation to get out. On your turn. 
オーバーウォッチに、えーまあ、かけします、ギャンブルします。So you can maybe take a gamble on using an Overwatch attack on the enemy's turn. なぜかというと、そのもし敵がスタンすれば、えー、そのターンの残りの間に敵が一切その行動ができなくなっちゃいます。This is because you have a probability, it's not a certainty, a probability of stopping that enemy that you couldn't kill on your turn on his own turn. And basically, the enemy unit will lose its turn, but again, you only have a chance of doing that, it's not certain. そうでえー、スタンするユニットが大きなダメージを食らうので、えー、とオーバーウォッチ攻撃をうまく仕掛けたら複数のユニットで同じ敵を非常に効率よく打つことができます。そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、そうで、To hit them with Overwatch attacks. The first one maybe stuns it, and then another unit also hits an Overwatch attack and does a massive amount of damage. まあこれは私がすごい好きで非常に楽しいです。And、uh, you know, this is something I personally really like about the game, and it feels so good to take out enemies like that. Overwatch 攻撃というのは、まあある意味味方である特定の場所で待ち伏せをするようなものなんですね。Yeah, it's basically like you know. You're planning out this ambush against the enemies. You know you may not, they may be too strong to kill individually, but if you can align your forces just right, position them just right, you're going to be able to do the damage and get them taken out with minimal use of steam. So, when you go, no, 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 And the Overwatch attacks happen just one after another, boom, boom, boom. And when you see the enemy go down, a, a scary enemy that's charging at you go down like that, really nothing else feels quite like it. What are you talking about? I want to talk about checkpoints, but I'm going to turn to the next turn. So, special. Special? So,、uh, maybe we can have Sakai san show us a few of the special attacks now. Oh, but actually. テレフォンのスコップの話しますかいいですね。ドイツがいいかなあの<笑>届くんですかねちょっとやってみて。届きました。あ、ah,、here we go with a special attack. えっと、so, uh, I'm gonna... えっと、メイン武器以外に各キャラクターにこの結構派手な、えー、スペシャルスチームパワーというものがあります。So in addition to the powers of their main weapon, Each character also has a, a special, a, this ability that's also unique to them and can only be used once per map. Yeah. And、uh, the other thing is that they don't use any steam up, but again, they can only be used once per map. So you have to save them up for a special occasion or a crisis. アメリカンコミックスを意識して、えー、まあすごく派手な表現になっています。So I think you could see just previously、uh, Henry's special attack. It draws a lot on that the comic book elements. You know, you saw the automatic gear flying by. You saw the、uh, you know American patriot nature of that character.、Uh, these are all elements that Sakai-san, the、uh, art director, has put in the game, and we really love about it. ここで少しデザインの話してもらったらどうか。そうですね。ちょっと切り替えますか。<laughs> so we're gonna have、uh, Paul take over the game right now so Sakai san can speak a little bit about、uh, her work on the project. In、えーえー、this game, I think that I can speak a little bit about her work on the So, one of the directions I took in、uh, creating the graphics and the design of the UI of the game is that I wanted to avoid abstract numbers as much as possible. I wanted You to be able to see the special powers, the, the characteristics of each unit visually instead of with numbers. So, for example, if you have a character, Henry is a boiler, 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 Uh, some of the characteristics Henry has simply by looking at him. You can tell 
uh, the backpack, what we're calling the boiler, is uh, a little bit special. It has it looks like two rockets. That tells you that it's the jump pack. You know, his weapon also is an eagle rifle, which has its own special characteristics. These are things that uh, we really thought about when creating the design of the characters and the design of the game. The character of Graphic was American Comics from the influence of it. We also uh, took huge inspiration from uh, American comics when creating the character designs. え、特に好きなアーティストはジャックカービーとその影響を受けているあ、その精神を受け継いでいるブルースティムとマイクミニオラです。you know, some of my personal inspirations in, in the Silver Age of American comics were Jack Kirby and two other artists who were inspired by him, Bruce Timm and Mike Mignola. え、彼らの絵のすごく I, I took a lot of inspiration because I feel like they have, uh, you know, they use very simple lines and structure to their art, but uh, you know, it's very discerning, very refined, just the same. え、スチームパンクと言いますと、結構このクスンダイメージとかあると思うんですけれども、このゲーム全体的にアメリカ、アメコミの影響というかアメコミの良さを取り込もうと思いまして、色鮮やかに作りました。Of course there are also a lot of elements from steampunk, but you know, we we grab the kind of like vivid color palette, the lively nature of American comic books back in the Silver Age to create the color palette for the game. え、それからエイリアンのデザインですけれども、え、こちらはラブクラフトの小説から着想を得て、え、大幅にアレンジしたオリジナルのエイリアンです。Switching over to the uh, the enemies, the aliens. I, I think you can tell just by looking at them that we drew a lot of inspiration from the works of H.P. Lovecraft. These guys are our own takes on a lot of the monsters that appear in Lovecraft's works. え、敵味方構わず突っ込んできて攻撃する敵がいたりとか、特にこのマップにまいるえ、リッパーという名前なんですけれども、そういう敵がいたり、え、人間のように武器を使うエイリアンなどがいます。Yeah, it's a, the a very distinct kind of movement. And right now, Paul is fighting a prowler here. These guys are uh, intelligent. They can use machines and weapons like humans can and also hunt down uh, the player's characters in packs. Uh, <laughs> uh, it looks like Paul might, you might be in a little bit of trouble here. あの、せっかくだし、今これパウロやられそうになってるから、ここでえ、チェックポイントの話しようか。まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ、まだ
どうしても、えー、自分の、えー、エネルギー、えー、と HP や、えー、スイムが足りなくなってしまいます。So,、uh, by spending your medals, you're able to restore health and steam to either one unit or at a quite an expensive cost, the whole team. Bring back all the health, all the steam for your whole team. So, this is going to help you. So, this is going to help newer players、uh, or even players who are veteran players but run into an unexpectedly difficult situation to make it through the map. But there is a cost. So, in that way, the checkpoint is. えー、自分の、えー、集めたメダルを使うことにはなりますけれどもこのメダルを使えばすべ、えー、て満タンになるしそれから一度倒れてしまったユニットももう一度復活させることができます。So、to go over it again, you're even able to bring back players who have、uh, been taken out by the enemy on the map and it's, it's just very convenient function for you to have if you need it. つまり、えー、マップの途中からもう一度全ユニットが、えー、最初の燃料フルの状態で、えー、プレーを始められるわけですから、当然ゴールに、えー、たどり着ける可能性が高くなりますね。So by by using these、uh, save points, even if you're just barely making it to to them, you're able to restore the health of your own team and basically start the map a little further in. So you can the possibility of making through each map is very good. でもそう言うと。お客さんがこのゲームがなんかそのすごくこう初心者に対して非常に優しくて全然チャレンジがないと思うんじゃないかなという心配があります。I think that from this explanation that Mr. Yamagami is giving is the players might get the, the impression that、uh, this game is actually very easy to complete, very easy to conquer. 実はそんなことないですね。But yeah, actually that's not the case. なぜかというとメダルはとても大切なんです。The reason is that these medals that you're spending,、uh, sometimes at great cost, to revive your team, are important. This is because as you advance through the game, you're going to have the chances to purchase weapons、uh, for the, the characters, new weapons, new technologies that will allow you to play in different styles. So it's, it's a matter of course that. Excuse me, that you'd like to save up as much as you can with these medals so that you can purchase those weapons. So you have a really big incentive not to spend these medals that you're acquiring on the map to restore、uh, health or restore steam.、Uh, you want to save them up so you can get these awesome weapons. メダルを使うことで一時的に体力を回復させてゴールを目指すということもできる。But if you have basically the player is presented with a choice here, you're, if you're in trouble and you really need a little bit of help, you can head to one of these save points, get those,、uh, get your health back, get your steam back, and keep going. But you know it comes at the cost again of you basically giving up the chance at some really neat weapons or boilers later on. つまり。この使用によって、えー、このゲームにおいてはマップに、えー、複数の難易度は存在しません。And it's because of this interesting spec, this interesting take on save points, that you know I'm really proud of the fact that we don't have to, we don't have a need for different difficulty levels. All players can play this and have a lot of fun with it, no matter what their、uh, experience is with strategy games. しかし、上級者には違う使い方ありますよね。はい uh, And we also have a special tip for,、uh, for really expert players. So, the first thing is that you can do is to do it in the middle of the day. You can do it in the middle of the day. You can do it in the middle of the day. You can do it in the middle of the day. You can do it in the middle of the day. Right. Because Paul, I mean, obviously, he is the creator director of the game. He knows it inside and out, and has a, there's a special benefit when you know exactly what you're doing with this game. That you can pull off some really amazing feats, which Paul is about to show us. So, we're going to have Paul show you what that's all about. As he ah, ah, oh, oh. Actually, here we go. So, here, so, John is moving. You can see the steam depleting as he moves. Looks like Henry's moving as well. Enemy sighted. Standing on the mast, eh? Hi. Any, uh, he's coming down. Now, this Paolo is doing what he's doing. 
、えー、自分のスチームを使い切れるところまで移動したら普通は敵のターンに変わるはずなんですね。So normally once you've used all the steam and your tanks up,、uh, naturally you think, okay, that's the end of my turn. Now we'll wait for the enemy to move. ところが、えー、先ほど見せたあの移動の看板。であったりとか、それから、えー、セーフチェックポイントでは、えー、自分のスチームを回復することができるわけです。But as we said before, you can restore your steam at these checkpoints, and also、uh, you probably noticed the the telephonoscopes, those green signs hovering around the map. Those will also restore your steam. つまり、えー、工夫してそれらの、えー、ポイントをうまく接触できるように移動させると。えースチームが尽きてしまっても、そこでまたスチームを補充して、さらに長距離移動することができるようになるわけです。So by、uh, by if you plan it out just right, you can have this kind of super move where you're moving your units quite a bit, have one、uh, hit the save point, restore all the steam, and then have all your movements, your units rather, move once more, attack once more. そうすると、えー、わずかなターン、ワンターンとかツーターンで。一気にゴールまで行くようなプレイも可能なわけですね。In this way,、uh, an expert player who knows what he's doing、uh, can move through the map in like one turn or two turns. まあ普通はこのチェックポイントとかは初心者を助けるような機能として用意されているんですけれども、えー、上級者の皆さんにマップ全体を把握してもらって、いろいろな方法を考えてスーパープレイを、えー、実現してほしいなっていうふうに考えています。But it's not like you know the, that's going to be super easy either. Right? For novice players, what we want them to do is have this checkpoint ability so that they can make it through their map、uh, without you know being just utterly destroyed by the strong, strong alien presence. Whereas, if you know the map, if you know the routes, and can figure out how to pull off these super moves that we're talking about, you're going to be able to、uh, you know basically show off、uh, to complete a map in a minimum amount of time. パウロはいつも、えー、そんなプレイを、えー、プレイヤーが YouTube にアップしてくれたら嬉しいって言ってます。And、uh, Creative Director Paul, he he really wants、uh, to see some of these things on YouTube because we're sure there are routes we haven't even discovered yet as well. 今パウロはゴールを目指して頑張ってます。So it looks like、uh, Paul is trying to get there to the the, the objective, the goal. はい、ちょうどあの緑のところにゴールと書いてますね。Uh, but it looks like it's just in front of him. あそこに行くと、えー、このマップをクリアしたことになります。Once you make it to that green area, the goal,、oh. uh, that <laughs> <Yeah> . gets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Even the experts have trouble sometimes. Nothing goes according to plan. まあそういうことを言いたかったです。<笑><笑>あの言ってくれたんです。<笑>このゲームではやっぱりその一番うまく立てたと思った計画が必ず失敗します。So even if you have you know your best laid plans and you think everything is going smoothly, like you, like you just saw on the last turn, something can go incredibly wrong with your plan and mess everything up for you. 彼はなんとかこのそのライブの間に。ゴールを決めてかっこいいところを見せたいと思ってるんですけど、そんな気持ちが結局焦ってしまって、あの敵に攻撃されて今ややられちゃったんですね。I'm sure Paul thought he could show off a little bit to all the viewers out there, show his expertise with the game, but、uh, now I bet you he's panicking a little bit because this really cool thing that he was going to show off has been thrown into the weeds. 大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫。Nah, nah, everything's fine. <laughs> まあ、さっきちょっとあの見せたんですけれども、このフォックスっていうキャラクターなんですが、あのスナイパーキャラですね。So、uh, the, the character we're using right now is the fox, and she is、uh, basically the sniper of the team. 連続オーバーウォッチで、あの敵をどんどんスタンさせてましたね、今。And、you can see that she has、uh, a lot of、uh, overwatch capabilities. She can hit them, and、uh, she has an increased chance of stunning the enemies. So she's great for pulling off overwatch attacks. でその前のターンで彼女の特技を使いました。だから彼女の特技もそのオーバーウォッチに特化しているものでした。I, and part of my plan was to have her use her special ability on that previous turn and use,、uh, you know, the, the Overwatch ability to stun those enemies and prevent them from attacking. あ、クリアしちゃいそうじゃないですか？お、ちょっとずるいクリアの仕方しますね。<笑>ちょっとずるいクリアの仕方します。Oh, but、uh, we're gonna show you a little bit of a Uh, a way around some trouble here. That did the trick. Ah, I saw it. So, yeah, we used, we used Fox's sub weapon to、uh, make it into the goal in that last turn. <coughs> What do we do now? 
せっかくだしいいじゃない Should we just go ahead and show、Let's、you the、go. next map?、Yeah. All right. まあ、このマップでは、えー、と酒井さんが先ほど言ってた、えー、アメリカンスチンパンクという,こう,いうビジュアルなテーマがすごくよくわかるマップです。I think you can see in that flyover and as we play on through this map,、uh, some of the elements that Sakai san was talking about when she said that it's a, the art style is a combination of comic book and steampunk. かっこいい。Oh, American steampunk. American steampunk. ちょっと酒井さんにコメントしていただこうかな、私がちょっと観光します。はい。観光。So we're gonna have Sakai さん comment a little bit about the design of this level. そうですね。このマップはボストンの空軍基地なんですけれども。So this this is a base for the American military located in Boston. さっきパウロが言った通り、アメリカの要素が特に多い部分です。もう一回お願いします。パウロが先ほど言ったんですけれども、アメリカの要素が最も強いマップの一つです。And as Paul said,、uh, because this is an American military base, as Paul said,、uh, you know, there's a lot of American steampunk influences here. えアートのスタイルとして、えー、R デコ、えー、ストリームラインデコというのを使用しています。And、uh, you know, for overall throughout the game, we, two of the things that we use are、uh, Art Deco and Streamline Modern. Which are two representative、uh, American art styles. Eh, 細かい話になるんですけれども、eh, この map なんですが、eh, 遠くから見ても、近くから見ても、eh, 見応えがあるように、ドットのレベルでテクスチャーを作っています。Now, this is a little bit detailed, but one of the things we're proud of about the graphic design of the maps is that we've used pixel art to create everything in the environment. And this means that No matter where you're looking at it from, the texture is going to be beautiful. If you're really up close or if you're very far away, it's going to have the same、uh, beautiful nature to it that you see here in the、uh, normal view. Okay. 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 But、uh, for this one, I want to be attacked by enemies. ちょっとライオンがかわいそうですね。Uh, but yeah, Lion, I feel bad for him. He's got to take all the damage. 私のお気に入りのキャラクターなんですが。<laughs> He's really my favorite character. <laughs> yeah, ライオンは硬いから大丈夫です。It's alright, he's tough, he can take it. やってみて。わ、何これ。Uh oh, what's this? This is the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the one t h a you can think of that little guy you saw before as the,、uh, the eye of one of the bosses on this level. He, the eyes float around trying to find your units. And figure out where you are so they can send、uh, their little peons there to attack you. And、uh, you know, the boss on this level has the ability to attack you from afar like an artillery piece. So you don't want to be in the line of sight of one of his remote eyes. So, yeah, it's important to try to make your way out of its range or else face、uh, a pretty tough attack. And、uh, that's another thing we're really proud of is like all the different、uh, enemies on each map. They, or rather, on each map, you're going to be facing different enemies, and each of them are going to have different strategies to use against you, which you will have to adapt to. Ah, いいですかどうぞ、えー、とこのようにマップはどのマップに来てもこう新しい場所に来たって思えるような絵作りをしたこととそれからどのマップに来てもこう攻略方法も違うそういうふうにかん、えー、感じて楽しんでもらえたらと思います。Well, in the graphic design too, we wanted to create a, a feel for the player that each time they access a new map, a new area,、uh, it would seem like something totally different from all the other maps that they played. Just like、uh, with the 
the different kinds of enemies, you have to use different kinds of tactics. We wanted a, a real fresh feel for every time you saw a map as well, visually. So, so uh, you know, I think we're about to run out of time here. We really, I want to show everyone the inside of this warehouse here, but, <laughs> but uh, we might get yelled at by Bill Trinan of the Treehouse, so maybe we should not. So let's wrap it up then. あの、私たちの提案するこのゲーム非常にユニークなえ特徴をたくさん備えたターンベースの戦略ゲームができたんじゃないかなっていうふうに思います。So uh, you know, I think we've showed you a lot of the elements that we think make this game so quirky and unique, and uh, you know, it's something we're really proud of and happy to bring out. And of course, I mean, in a, a, the limited amount of time we have with you, it's, it's tough to show you the depth of the strategies that can be used in this game, but uh, hopefully you all are interested enough to pick it up for yourselves and explore for yourselves. まあ、坂井さんはじめ、インテリジェントシステムズのデザイナーの皆様が yeah. And uh, you know, it's it's it began with Sakai San and Paul San, but really the whole development team put a lot of love, uh, a love of American culture, a love of all these different influences that we've told you about, and a lot of hard work into making this game. So, uh, you know, I really hope you all enjoy it. So, and of course, we haven't introduced much about uh, the story at all to you today, but. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> really hope you're going to look forward to that as well. Lincoln <laughs> I mean, you know, you saw the opening movie in London, but we told you that the the leader of this team of team is Abraham Lincoln. You know, I'm sure you're wondering all about that. So you, mada mada, hapio shite nai kodomo. Kore kara dondon minasan ni otsai shite ikitai na to omoimasu. And uh, you know, sorry we don't have enough time to get it to you today, but we are going to tell you more about that in, in the the coming future. So look forward to that as well. Hi. Eh, kyo wa eh kono wareware no eh hanashi wo saigo made kiite kudasatte arigatou gozaimasu. So thank you everyone for being with us here and listening to uh, all our all our discussion and. Taking a look at the game. Oh, I wonder if we have time to view another movie. Okay. 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 So we'd like to show you one more of those cool comic book inspired uh, cinematics that are the cut scenes for the game, and that'll play us out. That work. You know, slouch yourself. Yes, we did it. Good work. Let's move out. Fantastic. Hi, thank you Yamagami san, Paul, Sakai san, thank you very much. This, this is a great pleasure for us. Dave, thank you as well. Thank you.